Today we are deploying a field experiment and the purpose of this experiment is to study the defenses of a seaweed we've been working with. We've been doing a lot of experiments in the laboratory and we're now at the point in the experiment where we are beginning to ask questions about what these defenses are doing out in nature. My name is Jeremy Long. I'm a marine ecologist at San Diego State University. We are setting up cages and within each of our cages we've got our seaweed. It's a rockweed, Sylvicia compressa, that we've been studying. And in half of our cages we have snails that are added to it that are eating and attacking the seaweed. In the other half of our cages we don't have snails. The basic question we're asking is what happens to the seaweed when it grows with or without snails because our lab experiments have shown that the defenses in the seaweed, they get turned on when they're attacked by these snails. The partnership we have with Dr. Long is of great benefit to Cabrillo National Monument and other agencies who manage rocky intertidal habitat in Southern California, like the U.S. Navy. The findings of his research expand our knowledge of rocky intertidal ecology and allow the park to make management decisions based on sound science. A very popular question is always, what are the defenses? Um, it's a work in progress. So what we know now is that when the seaweeds are attacked by these snails, they become less attractive or less yummy to the snails. But we're just now beginning to ask those detailed questions. What is or are the chemicals that might be being turned on? 